guys, welcome back to today's video. So I have a haul video for you. So this is the California haul that I told you guys I was gonna film after my Nordstrom anniversary haul. So I wanna show you guys what I bought in California. I did a little shopping, of course. I didn't do too much shopping there, but I got some good stuff. So I wanna share that with you guys today. And I also got a couple things like in the mail that I had ordered previously to leaving on vacation. And then I got sent something as well. So I'm just gonna share everything with you today. So if you wanna stick around and see what I bought when I was on vacation in California, and then some things that I ordered in the mail, then just keep on watching. All right, so let me share with you guys the things that I had previously ordered before I went on vacation. If you follow me on Snapchat, you have seen a little bit of this, but I'm gonna share those with you guys today. So the first thing is this new RMS Beauty, the new contour bronzer. So they have the Bariti bronzer, which I had shown you guys a while back. Like I did a review and video on that, like when that first came out, which was like a few years ago. So they just came out with this one. And by the way, I love the previous one. A lot but they just came out with this one and this one is called their contour bronze so this one is a little bit different than the Bariti bronzer again it's a cream bronzer the RMS Beauty line is like an all organic makeup line so everything in here is good for your skin it's all natural they have really good ingredients this is so so pretty you guys this is actually what I have on today for my bronzer it's absolutely gorgeous I'm gonna swatch this one and then I'll show you guys it next to the Bariti bronzer as well but again this is a cream and it goes on your skin so smooth smooth doesn't budge at all on my skin and it just leaves your skin looking so natural with like a slight glow to it I love the tone of this one so much do you see how it's like seriously the perfect bronzing tone I love this so then this one is the older one. This is the one I did a review on a long time ago. This is the Bariti bronzer. Again, so, so pretty, but I'm gonna swatch them so you guys can see. If you have this one, I'll show you guys the tones between the two. Okay, so there they are side by side. That is the new contour bronzer, and then this is the Bariti bronzer. You can see the Bariti is more warm tone. This one's a little bit more neutral, cool tone, and it's also a little bit darker than the Bariti bronzer. And as you guys know, I'm completely obsessed with cream bronzers, and these, both of these are super pretty but I really have been loving the new contour bronzing color. It looks amazing. It goes really well with my skin tone and I've just been really loving that. So that is the RMS Beauty, the contour bronzer. All right, I'm gonna move on to what's on my lips right now because, oh, I love it. I'm so excited about these. These are the new Charlotte Tilbury, the hot lips lipsticks. I got two different shades. I got the first one in the Kim KW and then the second one is in Live It Up. So I guess they're all named after like special famous women. And the Kim K of course is the Kim Kardashian, which she's known for her like pinky nudes and everything, which is right up my alley as well. So that is what I actually have on today. And it's so pretty. I absolutely love it. I have it on with the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Liner and it's just so gorgeous. And her lipstick formulas for Charlotte Tilbury, I believe for me personally, I think it's one of her best products in her makeup line. I think her lipsticks are just phenomenal and these are just no different. The formula is absolutely amazing. And I believe that these new lipsticks come in two different formulas. Some of them are in the Kissing formula and then some of the other colors are in the matte formula. These two are the Kissing formula because I love that cream type of formula and these are like really long lasting too. So this is the Kim K shade. Just what I have on now, just the absolute perfect, perfect like pinky nude. So that is it up close. Again, that's the Kim KW. And like I said, does that not just scream my name? I love this color, like obsessed. And then the second one I got again is the Live It Up, which is I guess named after Liv Tyler, I believe. And this one is a really pretty like neutral pink. And again, this one is in the cream formula, the kissing formula, and it's just a really long lasting, a really good formula in my opinion. And this is more of like a really pretty kind of like neutral to cool tone pink. So you can see the two colors right there. And this one, again, is just so, so pretty. So there they both are. There's the Kim KW, and then there's the Live It Up. And you can see that's just a really, really pretty, like neutral to a little bit more on the cool tone side. Just a really good everyday pink. So I definitely recommend these lipsticks. I think they're so amazing. The formulas are amazing. The colors are so gorgeous. Like honestly, I don't think two of them is enough. Like I will probably go pick up more colors I love them. Like they're great, great, beautiful colors. They have all different tones for anything that you like. They're amazing. Okay, so if you follow me on Snapchat, you totally saw me like swatch this and talk about this. This is the Anna Sui, the lip color stain. I just found this on Beautylish and it just looked really pretty. So I really wanted to try these. I have not bought a lot of lipsticks and lip colors lately. I've just been kind of using a lot of my favorites, but this one just looked like interesting and stood out to me. So I wanted to try it. 
The packaging is super cute. Let me just show you the packaging first. Like how cute is that? So it's a lip stain, so it's got a lot of pigment. And this color, oh my God, this color is so perfect. This is in the shade 302. And it's a beautiful warmer tone, like pinky coral. And then that is the color up close. You can see it has super great pigment. I did wear this once already. It's so beautiful on the lips. And look at that cute packaging. It's so adorable. So these are super pretty too, and I would definitely recommend these. If you like a good long wearing lip stain, but is not drying at all, it's like super moisturizing and it makes your lips feel really good, then you will just totally love these because that is exactly what it is. It's like a long wearing lip stain, but it keeps your lips looking really moisturized and nice and not drying. So I love these. There's a bunch of different colors of these too. And again, this one is the 302. It's beautiful. So I also showed this on Snapchat. If you follow me on Snapchat, you saw me swatch this already too. It's the Nude Sticks, the Gel color lip and cheek balm and just like I said on snapchat I am not like a huge fan of the nude sticks products I've tried some before and I just really didn't like them that much but I forget there was like an advertisement for these new gel colors on Instagram and the girl with the most beautiful lips had this color on or this type of product on and it looked obviously so pretty I was like hmm maybe I want to try these so I did pick this one up and I love this one so these gel colors are really nice because they're more of like a balm on your lips like a really pretty color but it's like more moisturizing and more like a lip balm than some of their other ones that were I've always felt were a little bit drying on my lips this one was not so I love that they do come in a stick they're so easy to apply even like to line your lips with it and then just apply them you can really do that really quickly and really easily so that I love and again this one is so pretty this is in the shade Lux I took this on vacation with me and I absolutely loved it it's like such a perfect everyday color and that is the shade right here. You can still see it has amazing pigment, but it's obviously not as much pigment as like a lip stain, but this is more like a lip balm, but that color, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And look at, I mean, you, you can really still see that on my hand too. It's not like a lip balm with no color. You will definitely see this on your lips. Like I said, I wore this on vacation a ton and it made my lips look really natural and really pretty. All right, then this is what I got sent when I got home from California. I got sent this in the mail. I was like, what is this? I didn't even know Hourglass was coming out with like new foundations. I've been completely social media free for like the past week. I haven't checked Instagram. I haven't like looked at anything. So I had no idea that like Hourglass was even coming out with this, but they sent me the new foundations, which is like their seamless finish foundation stick, their Vanish seamless foundation stick. So they sent me two colors, and then they also sent me the new brush, I guess, that goes with it. So they sent me two different shades. I think the light beige shade will probably match me pretty good. So this is what it looks like, though. I have not tried this yet. Like I said, I literally just got home yesterday and just opened my mail. So this is what it looks like, though. It's like a foundation stick, and it twists up. It's like in a cute little triangle package, which is kind of cool. Um, but I guess it's just a foundation stick. I really don't even know much about this. I don't know if it's supposed to be for oily skin or more moisturizing for dry skin. I will have to look into this more and I will definitely try this. If you want to see a like first impression or a foundation review, like just alone on these, if you guys are interested, let me know. Like I said, I honestly do not know anything about this yet. So I'm going to put this to the test though. I can do that on camera, off camera. I can let you guys know. Just let me know what you guys want to see. If you guys are super interested in this foundation, let me know. Okay, so moving on to what I bought when I was in California. We did take one afternoon. We went up to Beverly Hills. We did some shopping on Rodeo Drive and the Grove and all those really cool areas in Beverly Hills. We took my kids, which was so fun. They absolutely loved it. I have two boys and they're just not shoppers at all. If you guys have little boys, you totally know what I mean. So it's a little bit dreading that afternoon, but Brian and I, and then the friends we were with, we were like, we have to hit Beverly Hills while you're you know, in California. How many times do you get to go shopping in Beverly Hills? So we were like, we're taking the kids, we're going. But I have to tell you guys, my kids absolutely loved it. They had so much fun. I had to tell them, do not touch anything about a million times, but they were so good. Like they loved going into the different stores and just like looking around at all the expensive diamond things they had so much fun doing that and then they also loved like watching all the cars going down Rodeo Drive because obviously they're boys they're into like cool cars and they just like saw so many cars so that was like their thing they were just like I just want to sit outside here and just look at all the cars they had so much fun so it ended up to be like such a good fun day in Beverly Hills we had so much fun the boys were so good and had so much fun so it was just a great day but we did hit up Chanel I have been doing some searching for a boy wallet the Chanel boy wallets I've been really wanting a new wallet 
and I've been really wanting one of the Chanel Boy wallets and they're super hard to find even here in Atlanta I couldn't find one that I really like they're just so hard to find and that's what everybody keeps telling me so I was like all right if anywhere's gonna have it I'm checking Beverly Hills and they did they had a couple of different ones and I'll show you guys which one I picked out the salesperson there pulled out a couple different ones but I really wanted just a classic good wallet that would go with like all my different bags you know not anything too crazy or fancy um, but I'll show you guys what it looks like here comes in the same type of like little nice dust bag so this is what it looks like I ended up going with the black one with the gunmetal detail so it's got the gunmetal here and then the zipper is the gunmetal which just goes with a lot of my stuff but this size wallet is absolutely perfect it has all those credit card slots it has two open pockets here and then it has like a good size to change you know, or anything that you can put in the zipper part here in the middle. So I love the size of this. This is exactly, exactly what I have been looking for and just, it's been super hard to find. So this is what I picked up at the Chanel boutique on social media, on Snapchat and on Instagram. Everyone was like, what did you get? What did you get? I see a Chanel bag. This is what I got. I really love it. And while I was in the Chanel store, I found some makeup. So I totally didn't even know that they had makeup in that store. I was like doing my shopping for my wallet and I turned around and I was like, oh, you guys have makeup. So I asked her, I was like, is there anything new? I'm like looking around. I'm like, I pretty much like have everything that I want from Chanel right now. She's like, no, we just got in our new fall stuff. Like just, just got in. I'm like, really? I'm like, perfect timing. Let me see. So I ended up getting two things out of the new fall collection. Like this literally just came out. She said, I don't even know if you can get them online yet, but I will try to find them and link them down below if they do have them online. But they did come out with a new blush and you guys know how I love the Chanel blushes. They're just one of my absolute favorite formula blushes. I pretty much didn't even have to look at the color when she said that there was a new blush. I'm like, put that in the bag. I want that because I knew it was just going to be so pretty and it is. So this is the shade. It's in the shade Rouge Profond. And then that is the color. Like that is just a perfect fall tone. And then here it is up close. Oh my gosh, like seriously, this is gonna be the perfect fall tone. Look how pretty that is. Chanel blushes, I'm telling you guys, are the best. So this blush is definitely a fall must have. And then this is the other new thing that I picked up. It's the Rouge Allure, the 168 lip color. So I love the formula. This is my favorite formula in the Chanel lipsticks. The Rouge Allure is more of that like creamy moisturizing formula, but it has amazing pigment and actually stays really well on my lips too. So this color was one of the new fall shades. And again, it's a really pretty kind of just nudie peach tone. So here's the swatch of that up close. And like I said, if you like a good peachy pinky nude, you are gonna absolutely love this color. And the formula of these, I'm telling you guys, it's amazing. All right, so those are the two must haves that I picked up from the new Chanel fall collection. Those are the two things that like really stood out to me the most. Everything else was just kind of like, yeah, like not a necessity like those two were. And then I also picked up the Chanel La Volume de Chanel mascara because if you guys followed my whole like mascara dilemma, I've literally tried so many recently, tried so many different mascaras, and then just recently, right before I went on vacation, I picked up my Chanel La Volume Day Chanel mascara again and used it because I was like, I might as well try to finish this up. And I'm like, gosh, like compared to everything I've been trying, this still looks the best. And I feel like my eyelashes are like responding to this again, if that makes any remote sense. But you know how I was saying like for a while, my eyelashes just didn't look right with this anymore. Now they are again. I don't know what tricks my eyelashes are trying to play on me recently, but this mascara is still the absolute best. Like I said, for a little bit there, my eyelashes weren't looking its best with this mascara. So that's why I went and bought like all these other mascaras to test out and try. But now they like this one again. So I'm back to this one again. I still think this one's the absolute best mascara. Everything I've been trying just doesn't compare to it. I just love this. I think it's the absolute best. So I picked up another one of those while I was in the Chanel boutique. All right, so then the last thing here, this is when we were doing a little shopping around the Laguna Beach area. So I pretty much just wasn't doing any shopping that day. I was just kind of hanging out with my kids. My kids were doing some like little cute shopping at some of the surf stores. And me and my youngest son, Colson, we were kind of sitting outside like around Main Street. We were just sitting on one of those benches, just hanging out, enjoying the weather, watching the cars go past and Brian found me and Brian was like you need to come into the store he's like you're gonna absolutely love it and I was like no I just want to sit here I wasn't in the mood to do any shopping he's like no you need to come in here so I went in and now he regrets calling me into this store because this store was so stinking good if you like like destructed denim and just really good cute jeans and jean shorts oh my gosh like this store was just absolutely heaven I honestly don't even know what the name of the store was I'm guessing it was LF stores 
Like, I don't even know. Let me look at the receipt. Yeah, it was LF Stores in Laguna. It was right on Forest Avenue in Laguna Beach. If you live in that area, you probably have been to the store or you need to because the best denim ever. So if you're like me, you guys know I love my destructed denim. And this store just had so many cool, like ripped up, like really different style jeans, like super cool. Like you cannot find this type of stuff anywhere else. And then their jean shorts, the best jean shorts of life. You know how I just purchased a couple of those rag and bone jeans where they were like a little bit shorter in the front and then a little bit longer in the back because it just makes your legs look better than if it's like cut the same all the way around. That is like how this entire store was. So these were like my absolute favorite. I ended up getting two pairs of these because they were so cute. So you can see how the front is cut up a little bit shorter and they're cut on an angle. And then the back is longer and it just looks so good. It's by the brand Carmar. All their jeans were like this in-house Carmar brand, which I never heard of, but it's an LA brand. It's made in LA and they're like, this is like what this store is known for. So like I said, I bought two pairs of these jean shorts because the fit of these is just so perfect. And then I also got a black pair of jean shorts. These are like a high-waisted jean short. They have some destruction a little bit in the front, but these again are cut shorter in the front and then they're angled and then longer in the back. And again, it's that Carmore brand. But it was so funny, once I got into that store and I started trying on their jean shorts, I was like, this is what jean shorts should be. They make your legs look really good. The way the cut of them is, is just so flattering. I'm like, this is it. Like I literally stocked up on jeans there. Like I said, Brian should not have taken me into that store, but I stocked up on so much jean shorts and jeans there because the cut is just everything. Like all their jeans have that same cut, which just makes your legs look so good. I'm like, finally, I'm like people in LA, people by the beach, I guess know what they're doing because these shorts are everything. And then I also picked up two pairs of these. I got these and then I got a backup of these too, because again, the store was freaking amazing. This is a pair of black denim, but the holes in these are so ridiculously cool, like so funky, so cool. I will insert a picture of these because you definitely won't be able to see these since they're black but they were so fun. So if you like good, like destructed denim or like really different type of denim and just shorts that make you look so amazing, definitely check out the store. And I actually, like I said, this brand was only like an LA brand. So I Googled it and then it came up that you could buy the stuff, but it was from the Carmar website. Like you can't find this anywhere else. So that's why I literally bought backups of like everything because it was so good. That store, oh my God. That store is amazing. If you live in that area, you are so lucky. I would be like living in that store. So that is everything I picked up on my vacation to California, as well as some makeup that I picked up previous to leaving on vacation. So I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for hanging out. Everything will be linked in the description box. I will try to find everything and link it for you guys down below. So thank you guys all so much. Don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye.